This poem's about loss. At 15, I learned a terminal disease would burn between my queen gene pool. In school, I drowned in tears for years, wishing well. I could quell the malady that took the one woman's look that said more than any best-selling book by some genius author that could offer far less than my fearless leader, my Seuss and Silverstein reader, my apple juice and Bresley quick feeder. I miss her. I need her. More now, now that I have a grasp of who I am, of who she helped me to be. All I ask is for her to see my 22 years in motion with some notion she will infinitely wink from the stars when I become one. The closest I have to a mother now is nature, protected by the pictures deflected in the water of my own first-rate reflection they both helped create, secured by sequoias that were once her arms. Replaced by paranoias that were once her charms, she exists unconsciously only. Every dream is a foreseen nightmare since I know no longer I'll have her care when I awaken to this forsaken land of mother's wear. Who knows, maybe the psychology of oncology stems from marine biology. I'm six years behind in parentology, yet still searching for the cure for cancer 20,000 leagues under the sea. My Captain Nemo therapy. As others drown around me, I profoundly wish those innocent and pure polluted fish would be kept afloat. Assured that when awful verdicts happen to lawful subjects, I can suspect to accept and understand those reasons without demanding an unreasonable, easily dismissible solution from a physician unqualified in me missing her.